Hello everyone. Today we have a unboxing video. This is the Top Fin Underwater Worlds Aquarium Starter Kit. It is a 10 gallon aquarium that we picked up today at PetSmart. It was, I believe it was $45 on sale, but it was originally 65. And if you look over here on the back, you can see everything that it comes with. It comes with the lid and some LED lights on the bottom of it, the thermometer, a four inch net and a water test little bottle there and a heater pads for the filter and the filter itself now if you come over here and look on the inside all right you went ahead and unboxed the little boxes that we had in there that way it'd be easier to show you guys so let's take the tank out here Move that out of the way. If you look inside the tank, first thing I'm gonna bring out is the heater. This is the heater that it comes with. It's a nice little heater for the price. Comes with a little instruction manual if you need it. Leave that there. Here's the net that it comes with. Nice little net to get your fish in and out. There's a little bottle that it comes with to take to your pet store, have them test your water for you. Then this is your power cord for your filter. A little switch turn on and off. Do that there. These are the suction cups for your heater for the side of your tank and then here's a little thermometer to see your, how hot or cold your water is a little suction cup on it to put to the side of your tank let's open that up here so yeah it's a nice little thermometer that they give you leave that right there And we got the filter. It's a nice filter that it comes with. And comes with these little tubes here. Inside of the bag, you can see there is a little filter with the cartridge in there. You can get refills at the pet store, wherever you got this from. See these um, little tubes here go up in there to go into the water. Then this just sits on the side of the tank like that to filter the water in and out. And has the little lid for on top. I believe it goes like that. And leave that right there. And if you come over here, we uh, also picked up two bags of premium aquarium gravel. Nice little bags of gravel for the tank. Two bags is recommended for a 10 gallon tank as the one that we have over there. Also picked up some water conditioner and tap water dechlorinator. Then um, got some little fake plants for in the tank. Nice little thing for the fish to hide in. And some little plant grass for the bottom of the tank. We also picked up some of these little plants that'll sit around inside the tank, make it look good. Also these ones, they're pretty tall, I'm sure they'll sway around with the water. And then we got this, this is a strainer because whenever you get new gravel or any rocks you want to wash them to get all the nasty stuff that might be on them out of them. So that's what we're going to do next. All right guys, now we're over here in the bathroom. We got the aquarium gravel and we're gonna wash it out here in the strainer. Got two bags here. So let's cut them open real quick. Put it down there in the sink.
We're going to dump it over here into the strainer. As you can see, it's some nice gravel that we got here. I believe it was $6 a bag. Maybe different at your pet store. Let's just do one bag at a time. We're going to go ahead and wash it out. Make sure we get all the bad stuff out of it. Wash them up. You know what, let's add the other bag to it here quick. That should be about good for washing them. All right guys, we just washed out the gravel, got rid of all the stuff that was on it, if there was any. Now we're gonna bring it over here. We already went and washed out the tank like you're supposed to do. Now we're gonna dump all the gravel inside of here. This isn't the best thing to do. I recommend getting a little cup or something to brush it in here. But it works. Make sure we get all the stones out of there. All right, now we're gonna go in here and spread them around. Make sure it's nice and flat. Or you can do it like sideways, have some little dips if you want. However you prefer your tank to look, it's all up to you. All about your design and how you like it. But I prefer it nice and even and fast, so it looks nice and clean. Make sure it's all nice and flat in there. Now we're gonna come over here and grab some of these plants. Um, let's go ahead and grab this little plant here first. Gotta take the tag off. And bring it over here and work its way down in there. Get some stones in around it, shake it around, make sure it's down in there good. I'm gonna bring them over here. I think I'm gonna stick this orange one over here in this corner. Make sure it's down in there good. I'm gonna take these other two. I think I'm gonna stick this one back here in this corner. Looks good there. The water's gonna bring it up once we put it in. Then this one, I think it would look good somewhere around here. Oops. Make sure you get it down in there good. That way it stays in. We're gonna go ahead and move this one over to here. All right, now here is all the plants set up inside of it. Looks pretty nice and clean. It's pretty nice. Some nice colored gravel in there mixes with the color of the plants. All right, that'll be it. All right, guys, we got our bucket filled up here with tap water. We're gonna bring it over here to the tank and fill it up. I would recommend dumping it like like with your hand there to evenly spread it instead of it all splashing down in one spot. Alright, 
I'll get back to you guys after I fill this tank. Alright guys, so we got our heater here and the thermometer. We're gonna set our thermometer to the side and go ahead and stick our heater in here. So there should be a water level line on there. You wanna get it to about right there and then go ahead and suction, make sure the suction cups are sticking right to the glass. After you get your heater in there, come over here, grab your uh, thermometer, go ahead, stick it in there. You can put it wherever you want, just make sure you can vis visibly see it. And there you go. Alright guys, we just got the thermometer and the heater in, now we're going to put the filter in. It's a nice filter. Come over here and put that cord behind there. I'm gonna drop it down in here in the corner. Make sure it's nice and open that way anything that needs to be sucked up can get sucked up in there. Alright. Hey guys, so we forgot to mention that we had a lid with this aquarium that also doesn't come in place, so you don't have to buy a lid. So, make sure our wire comes through, and for the heater, the wire for the heater, oh, comes through, and it should just pop right on. So, as you see now, we have our filter, heater, and our thermometer. To work the filter, put water up until it's about to overflow. As you see now, we already have it working. Once that's done, open it and then plug it in. Once it's plugged in, it should start running. Now, after that, we have water conditioner. For this, we use 10 ml, which is 10 milliliters, for 10 US gallons. So let's go ahead and fill that up. Once that's done, go ahead, spread it in like that. And then before you get your fish, you want to let your filter cycle for two weeks. Now you could buy a quick start like that. You go to PetSmart, ask someone how long the filter. I'm pretty sure it's one week, and then you're ready to get your fish. But I recommend cycling it for two weeks, which is best for it. It's best to get all the bad chemicals out of there. Hope you've enjoyed. Hope we have got you confused on setting this aquarium up, and have a nice day. Alright guys, that's it for this unboxing of the 10 gallon fish tank. We're going to put the lid on here quick, and let the cycle go through, which is going to take about two weeks. So, we will get back to you in two weeks when we go to the pet store and pick up some fish. And thank you guys for watching. And that's it.